Welcome back to Taco Man TV. and if you're new here, my name is Tony. I make videos about Wizarding World news, merch, and events. So if you're into that sort of thing, consider subscribing so you don't miss out on the next video. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at two unreleased models of the Harry Potter Magic Caster Wand. Now, I know it's been a while since the Magic Caster Wand has released, but I found out a little while back that there was actually two models that never came to the market. And through thrifting, inventing, whatever you want to call it, I ended up finding this one first. This one is called the Wise. So this is the Wise model, and I'll go ahead and take these out in a little bit. Um, and a couple months later, just checking and seeing maybe I'm going to find this other one called the Adventurous, and I found it. So I just wanted to come on here and show you guys my finds. Um, this completes my Harry Potter Magic Caster Wand collection. So now I have the four models that came out when they released initially, and then these two unreleased models. And I wanna show you kind of like the differences between the unreleased and the ones that actually went to market and like the boxes and stuff like that. So first, let me just go ahead and show you guys the wands. So let's check out the Wise Wand. Now they're all very similar. They all come in this leatherette box. Um, and they all kind of do the same thing when you open them up. So essentially the plans for Warner Brothers were to release six wands in total. These would have been two later wands that came out after the initial launch. Unfortunately, they never made it to market. These actual wands that I have here, I'm assuming were supposed to be store displays or store uh, demos. So you can go into the store and pick it up and try it out for yourself. So the reason I came to that conclusion is because the outer sleeve for these is actually different from what went to market. Um, there's, a, there's a bit of minor details here and there. And I'll show you some of those differences in a little bit. Let's take a look at these wands first. So here we have the Wise Wand. And it is a very nice natural looking wand. Um, it has a little gem at the bottom there. I'm um, not too sure if you can see that. Let's see if I can hold this the proper way. There you go. It's kind of lit up there. And there's not really much to it. it. You know, all the wands do the same thing. I just wanted to share these with you guys because I'm excited that they're unreleased um, and that I have them. So here's the Adventurous Wand, and it's a little more ornate than the uh, Wise Wand. This one actually has some kind of like workings on it. Um, there we go. It's kind of lighting up now. Now, I don't have the other wands to show you guys today, but if you want to see my previous video on what happened to the Magic Caster wand, I'll link that down in the description below and I'll put it up here. All right, one of the first interesting things that I found was that the uh, directions or instructions were uh, not complete at this time. This is the quick start guide, and if you scan this, it doesn't work. It leads to a dead end. But essentially, this is kind of telling you or telling the, the, I guess, the graphic designer, whoever was going to design this, what would go in each step. So right here, for example, number one says, illustration of a hand casting the Lumos gesture and the wand tip lighting up, maybe a sequence. So they're kind of making suggestions here, like, what should we put here on number one? Number two, illustration of a wand flicking downward towards the wand box and the light moving from the wand tip to the wand box and then the wand flicking upwards away from the wand box and the light jumping from the wand box to the wand. They, they wanted a whole bunch for number two, but you know, just one of the cool little interesting things, like this is what goes into the product development and these are, this is how things look when they're not done and, and, and the certain points you have to be at in order to uh, complete a product. On the back side, you can see it has five wands. So this one has the adventurous, heroic, honorable, loyal, and defiant. So these are the four that actually released, but you can see that they don't have the images of the uh, appropriate wand there. Let's open up this other one and see if that one has uh, the right wand. So yeah, none of these have the wise wand, which would be this green one here. 
So you can see like they were still not sure, okay, are we gonna do all five? Are we gonna do four? Little things like that, that just are pretty cool. Like to me, like, oh, they didn't even finish doing this when these came out or when they made them for the, for the demos or things like that. What's funny to me is that these wands are like exactly how the regular wands would come. So you have your little box, you have your instructions and your charger in here. Um, so everything all pretty much done except like the paper stuff. So your directions and then now let's take a look at the box here. All right, so starting with the top side, you can see that a lot of the text got changed over. Uh, the graphics are now showing the wand that actually is in the box that you're getting. Um, you can actually see a USB charging cable instead of just a, a, a little illustration of it. Um, again, the wand changing into the actual wand, the text getting smaller, uh, little things moved around. So like this side says tablet and phone not included. And then on the other one, on the one that went to market, it says it right under the uh, main text. Um, you've got some in, even more included text, just like disclaimers. Your iPad and your iPhone actually have some images of the app now and then available on the App Store or get it on Google Play. And now it says download on the App Store and get it on Google Play. Little minor things that just change in packaging. Some finishing touches were made, you know? The front on the ones that went to market actually have this kind of foil, foil metallic effect on the cardboard, whereas the uh, demo ones do not, and they look a little more bland. Um, you can see that the model name actually moved from the top right to the bottom left and a lot smaller. Another difference is that Magic Caster now is emphasizing Magic Caster Wand. So you'll see Ultimate Wand Experience and then same thing down here. Ultimate Wand Experience is just that they made, they made the wand text to match the Magic Caster text. So slight differences little tweaks and changes here. I find it really interesting. On the bottom here, you can see there's a, a big space for retailer barcode, a uh, space for uh, a manufacturing label, and they kind of did leave that kind of stuff uh, open there. We also have a, a bunch more warnings and FTC or FCC uh, IDs and product information, just a bunch of different little details. You can see even on this one, it says TBD, to be determined. That's what that means. So very early uh, magic caster wand here with these two so let's take a look at the back side and here on the demo wand we actually have now a picture of a wand it's just that this one does not match the one that's in the front so this is definitely another placeholder we've changed the text here from connect to the power of magic to discover the magic caster wand personalize your experience is about the same it's just a little smaller some text is different cast and master spells uh, same thing text was moved around different images for the phone. And then finally, we have the main uh, image here where it looks a little bit smaller. They added a little more text, but not too much of a difference from draft to finished product. So I know some of you have a Magic Caster wand and you're like, why is this thing so flimsy? Why is it so uh, plasticky? Like, and I want to show you guys the interiors of the Magic Caster wands. Um, and we'll take a look at the uh, FCC filings for uh, the internal images of the wands. Uh, I thought that was super interesting to see how these things work or what's inside of them. So I'd like to share that with you guys here. Inside, you can see that the main base is the battery. And then moving up, you have the uh, microchips and like all the technical stuff that goes into it, all the stuff that needs to be programmed. And then going up the rest of the wand is basically just a light strip. And obviously the board of it tells the lights how to light up a certain way. If you do a certain spell, it has your motion sensor in there. It has your gyroscope in there, a bunch of, bunch of stuff just packed into this wand. Um, to be able to track your motions, to be able to change the lights, to be able to vibrate. So very interesting stuff. And I appreciate you guys letting me share this with you. I thought it was super cool. A lot of it's pretty nerdy, but uh, thank you guys for letting me show you my two new additions to my collection, the unreleased Magic Caster wands, unreleased models, I should say. If you enjoyed the video or you learned something new, please leave a like on the way out and consider subscribing so you don't miss out on the next Wizarding World news, merch, and events. 
and I will see you in the next one.